This is Dina and I'm from the Marks Group and today we're going to talk about how Zoho Survey and Zoho CRM can work together. Specifically, we're going to look at how we can send a survey out from CRM as well as how we can integrate back surveys that are sent from Zoho Survey to, to go back into the contact records in Zoho CRM. So we're going to start here on the survey in Zoho Survey and we're on the main page and as you can see I have three surveys here. If we go to this middle one first and we um, go to the builder you can see that I've set this survey up. Uh, we have some contact information, we have a pick list, we have a slider, we have a number of fields here. So once you have your, your survey set up you can go over to this hub tab right here and when you go to hub you can see that you can integrate and you go to integrations you have your choice of various products that you can integrate Zoho uh, survey with. In this case we've done it with Zoho CRM and one thing that's really important to realize is you can see here where in the feedback survey that one survey each survey needs to be integrated individually and that's a very important thing to remember unlike other Zoho products where you integrate once. In this case, similar to Zoho Forms, each integration happens with each specific survey. So in this case, I've already set up the survey, so it is integrated, but we're going to go in here to edit and look at what I did. So the first thing I had to do was choose which, um, which module in CRM I wanted. And in this case, I chose the contacts module. The next thing you have to do is a sync type you can either have Zoho Survey uh, add a record, update a record, or add slash update a record, which show, means that it will either create a new record or update an existing record. In this case, that's what I'm going to do because if I have people that are already in my system when I send the survey out, I don't want to create a duplicate record. The next section here is where you're going to map your um, fields between the two systems. So you see here you have Zoho CRM and Zoho Survey. In this case you could see that last name is grayed out and that's because that's a required field in Zoho CRM for the contact module. So you do need to have a uh, last name field so that we're, we're, um, we're going to map to the last name field in the survey. Next is email, and I'm going to map that to the email field, first name. And then we have here, if we go back in, uh, it, we have this field that we had, I enjoy working with the Marks group. Um, you could see here, I enjoy working with the Marks group. And I created a field in the contact record in Zoho, also called enjoy working with the Marks group. So I'm syncing these two together because I want this response from my survey to show up in Zoho CRM. And you can do this with each and every one of your questions in your survey. And when you do that, you can see we have this little icon here and when I hover over it, it says map options. If I click on that, you can see that these were the, the survey answers that I had, yes and no. And what Zoho, what this integration was asking that I take the CRM answers that I had and map them. So if I had, you know, true and false in CRM, I could still map them to the yes and no answers in survey. So it brings you a lot of flexibility. So you can use survey to really think about the best way to get somebody to answer the question. But if you need that those answers used in a different way in CRM, you can go ahead and just map those different wordings and not worry about them having to be exactly the same. And when you do that, you click map, and then you have your choice of whether to uh, get a, a PDF of each of the surveys. I think it's kind of handy to do that, so I, uh, so I, um, you know, clicked yes, and then under attachment it says if you had other attachments, and then you save this. Uh, and then one thing that's important to note is that if I had other surveys that I'd already sent out for this feedback survey before I did this integration, Zoho would not automatically integrate my previous um, surveys into CRM. What it would do instead 
was give me that option and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and then you can always make sure you can do CRM sync status and sync whatever you have there as well. I'm not going to do that for now. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go back here and I'm going to, um, so this is called the feedback survey. So now that we have this done, I'm going to go into a contact record and I'm going to show you how you can send this feedback survey directly from CRM. So if we go into CRM and if we go to contacts, we go to a contact, which is me and my email address. Now what I could do is I can go over here to the related list here, Zoho survey, click on that and it brings me down to it. And then I actually have a few options here. I have create the survey, send the survey or take survey because now the Zoho CRM and Zoho survey are integrated with each other. And what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to do send a survey. Now I could do it from here. Click send a survey, select the survey, and it's giving me the three choices that I have in CRM, in, in Zoho survey. So we were working with feedback survey, so I'm going to send that. And then it shows you um, the survey link, gives you a preview of what that survey is, just so I can make sure. Um, text to display. Um, I'll just say, please take our, um, oops, feedback survey. And I can insert this. And then what's going to happen is Zoho sets up the email. Um, so it's in here now, but I'll show you another way we can do this. And it says, please take our feedback survey. I can add whatever I want here. I'm just going to do a test of it. And then I'm going to hit send. The other nice thing that you can do here is if I go to send an email, you can see insert survey link is here as well. And I can find those same surveys. So I can either do it from the related list or I can do it um, from uh, you know from Zoho survey and now you can see feedback survey it was sent today um, who was it sent by source how it was sent individual and the response is yet to respond so now what I can do is if I um, go separately to my email and I have that survey and I'm going to bring that up now into here. Oops. I don't know if that's on the screen. We'll have to check. I'm going to click on the survey. And I'm going to uh, fill it in. And yes, put in whatever, and then I'm just going to select each option from the survey, click Submit. So now the survey's been submitted. Now if I refresh my browser here, where the CRM survey is, I can see if I go down to Zoho survey, I can view the response here. So there's a few things to note here. One, I can view the response here. And um, if I go and I do this, I have the response, I have the information here. Now we had integrated one of the fields from the form and that field was um, do you enjoy working with, I don't know why that didn't work. Okay, I refreshed again, and you can see enjoy working with Mark's group is yes. And if we go into the feedback, oops, we go into survey again, and we look at the response of the uh, reports. 
um, when we go into here, we can see that it was answered. July re most recent response. Um, today's responses. I'll go in here. So now you can see that um, I did respond here, and now you can see that it is showing up here as well. So we can see that we have it. We can click on view response and see the response. And now if we go to attachments as well, you can see we have a PDF of this survey. So as you can see, once you have your survey set up and those surveys in Zoho Survey are integrated into CRM, you can see what can happen when you um, when you bring a survey, send a survey from Zoho CRM. The next thing we're going to focus on is how to send a survey from Zoho Survey and get it into CRM. So we're actually going to, just so we can make sure we see the differences, we're going to go to this customer feedback survey and we'll use this one for this. So if we go to the builder, you can see this one's a little bit different. Um, and then if we go to Hub, again, this has been integrated. Um, actually, what I'm going to do now for you is I'm going to remove the integration so that I can show you how to do it. So if I go here and I click Integrate, it's going to ask me which module, Contacts, Next, Update Existing Record, Add Records. I'm going to add um, first name. I'm going to match that to first name here. I'm going to add um, email, match that to email address, and then I had a field in here called name of product, and I'm going to map that to the name of product field that we have here in our survey. And because that's not a pick list, you don't have any options that you need to map it to. I'm going to choose again to get a PDF of the response, and then I'm going to save this. Oh, I, as you can see, I got the warning, the last name. I never mapped that. So now I'm going to save it. And it shows me that the survey has been integrated with Zoho CRM. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit launch. And then we have this, um, this uh, link. There's a few different ways you can offer. You can put the link in somewhere in a, um, in a website. You can share it on social media. You can you know send it to people, whichever way that you want to do it. But in this case, I'm just going to access the survey. So I'm not in CRM at all. I'm going to put a few pieces of information in. Put in my email address. And I'm going to put um, sample as the product name. And then I'm just going to skip the other answers. And I'm going to hit submit. So now the survey has been submitted. If we go back in here and we do reports, we can see that the most recent response has been today. So now if we go into my contact in CRM and we refresh this contact, We can see when we go to attachments that that customer feedback survey is now in here. And then if we go up to that name of product, we can see that sample has been added. And we can also see that um, another record, if we go out to our contact list, there's still only one record for my name. But what we did in here was we had, because we had the choice of either creating or updating a record. Zoho, found, uh, Zoho Survey found my record and only updated the record with the information on, in the survey here as well. Um, and as you can see, you have that here. The fields have been updated. Um, and you will you know, then be able to um, work with, with the information here. Now, once you have this information here, there's a lot you can do. So, 
Um, once maybe you either want to um, have workflows set up that notify you when a survey has come in, or maybe you want to do a workflow based on these fields that you've now mapped with CRM. And you can go ahead and set up any of those workflows. So that could be one of the really valuable parts of setting up um, that integration between Zoho Survey and Zoho CRM, because you can update these fields, and then you can use the information in these fields for anything that you want uh, going forward. So that is the integration between Zoho Contact, uh, Zoho CRM, and Zoho Survey. If you have any questions about this or anything else related to Zoho, please feel free to contact us at info at marksgroup.net or visit us at our website, marksgroup.net, and we hope you'll look at our other videos as well. And again, please come to us with any questions that you have. Thank you.